Welcome students. Today we will be looking at assets of stock. Stock are unsold goods of the business. These items were bought to be sold to customers. The stock of goods in a business are constantly changing. They can be bought, sold, and returned to the supplier. We need to create accounts. The first account we're going to look at is purchase accounts. These accounts are used for when the business purchased goods for sale. Another account we need to open when we think about assets of stock is sales account. This account is for the sale of goods. Return in what is an account that we open for goods returned to the firm by its customers. Return outward is a, an account that we open for goods returned by the firm to its supplier. There are many reasons why we use this account. It, one of the reasons may include quality assurance of the goods. Now, let's record the purchase of stock on credit using the account. Our transaction read as follows. On August 1st, 2007, goods costing $1,650 are bought on credit from D. Henry. Using our T account, we need to open purchases account and D. Henry. Purchases is an asset because it is an asset and the double entry rule states that whenever assets increase, we must debit it. So we must include the date of the transaction, the details, as well as the dollar amount. Because this is a liability for D. Henry, we see it's increasing. So according to the double entry rules, we need to credit D. Henry. We must include the date as well as the details. So don't forget these rules when you're working with your T accounts. I hope you enjoyed this video.